Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the Estelle button cowl. You can wear this cowl buttoned like a traditional cowl, or you can wear it like a small wrap. And for this project, you'll need a six and a half millimeter K crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle for doing your finished work and to sew on the buttons. You'll also need two buttons. These are one inch. And you'll want to make sure before sewing your buttons on that they pass through the holes. We just use the decorative holes in the lace to serve as buttonholes. And you'll also need your yarn. For this project, I used Red Hearts Boutique Treasure. And in case you're wondering, this is the Spectrum colorway. And I used every last bit of this yarn for this project, and I had just enough to sew on the buttons here. And if you need to substitute yarn, this is 151 yards. The finished scarf measures 32 and a half inches long and about seven and a half inches wide. And for this tutorial, I'll be using Bernat's Softy Chunky, and that's simply because I used every last bit of this yarn. But also, I wanted to use a lighter color yarn so you could see all the stitches more easily. So to get started, we'll put a slip knot on our hook and chain 23. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, and twenty. 23. So here's our starting chain. And for row one, we're going to, in the fourth chain from the hook, this loop here doesn't count, one, two, three, and four. To make the first V, it's kind of, if we go back to our pattern, it's kind of a double V with two double crochets on either side with two chains in between. Going to work the first V in the fourth chain from the hook. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the chain, bring up a loop, yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. We'll do this again, then chain two, then work two more double crochet. We're doing this all in the same chain. Okay, let's get some more yarn here. Next, we're going to skip three chains. One, two, three, and in that next chain, we're going to work another V. So, two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet all in the same chain. Skip three, one, two, three, and in that next chain, work the next V. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Again, all in the same chain. Skip three, one, two, three. In the next chain, work another V the same way we've been doing. Two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. At this point, 
you should have one, two, three, four of the V's. Skip three, one, two, three in the next chain. Double crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and double crochet. You should have one, two, three, four, five across. Then we're going to skip two. So at this point, there'll be three chains left. So we'll skip two, and in that very last chain, we're going to work one double crochet to finish off row one. So row one will look just like that. To move on to row two, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. So each V, if we go back to our piece, is stacked on top of the V that comes before it. It's worked right into the center. So we're gonna be working into that center space. We're gonna do the same thing. Two double crochet. Chain two. Two double crochet. So it'll look like that. Next V, two double crochet. Chain two. Get some more yarn. And two double crochet. Like that. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So you'll just keep continuing across till you get to the end. So two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Get some more yarn there. And in the very last fan, or V, two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So again, you should have one, two, three, four, five of these V's. And then in the turning chain space at the end, you'll work one double crochet to finish off the row. So this is rows one and two complete. To finish your piece, let's just get that off the hook there. To finish your piece, like this one, You'll just keep working row two until you get your piece as long as you would like it to be. And I got a finished measurement from this yarn of seven and a half inches wide and 32 and a half inches long. And these are one inch buttons. So when you finish, you'll just weave in the ends and I used a piece of matching yarn and my tapestry needle and just, there's my tapestry needle here, just a scrap piece of yarn and the tapestry needle and I had just enough yarn to sew these on and I just did it like that and you'll just sew them to the ends and then button your piece. So that's it, that's the Estelle button cow tutorial 
Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again!